So we're here at Human Garage Headquarters at Jason and Aisha's workplace, and we're going to clear their room and see where the stressors are. I mean, it's kind of obvious when there's electricity, there's going to be a stressor. But let's see how it's messing with their biofuel that messes with their chemistry, and more importantly, the fascia. <laughs> so right arm is good. Just meet my pressure. One more time, good. One more time. Good. Uh, is this space challenged for you? Hold strong. No. Not too, too bad. Not too, too bad. So whatever is going on here, he's mitigating it. Let's two fingers touch your touch the bed. Hold strong. The second we touch a source, he goes weak. Externally, he's okay. Let's come over here in front of the router. Yes. Like, I'm not even going to go in there. Stand right there. There's a router right here. Hold strong. He, he can't even think of holding strong. Hold strong. He can't even think of holding strong. So that router, show the router here. What we're going to do is we're going to tape a Faraday bag over that router so it's not a directed weapon right at the person. And we're going to divert it up in a way, and it changes the physical environment, especially in the bathroom. So when they walk by it, it just messes with their energy, destructures water, dehydrates the fascia, all that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put a grounding bag. Just one, come on this side again. One on the bed. So it's touching the wall. There's electricity all around there. Go ahead and two finger touch and hold. And, and he's strong, just with one on there. So that one grounding bag will clear that electricity. Because remember, the electricity tra travels on the outside of the wires, so there's a resonance of it. Upwards of six to eight feet, depending on how strong of a waveform it is. And so what these do is this, those chargers, we want to get you to charge them away from your bed. So I would eliminate that because check this out. So even though we have the grounding bag right there, uh, maybe uh, this arm is good. And no, you're, you're good on that. Hold strong here. So hold here. So you're strong. But the second we get closer to this source right in there. So right in there is where he starts to go weak. So if he's leaning over close to that, there's going to be a resonance where that kicks off for you. So move those chargers away from the head of your beds. Uh, what we did with Lisa is she had an outlet directly on the opposite side of her pillow, and I taped a Faraday bag over that stressor. And so now it's not resonating out towards her. We pulled her bed off the wall, yeah. like several inches, and then we have a Faraday bag on the bed. So now her space is so much cleaner because uh, they, they, they haven't grounded the electricity in Mexico very well. They just haven't figured it out. And I've trusted in, in Cabo and a few other places. So uh, let's go ahead and take this on that router and see how it changes, just that alone. Let's stop it for a sec. <laughs> and now, would you do the bottom ones too? Or how no. That... Let's see. Stand right in front of it. Okay, so now we just tape this and hold strong. And you're strong. Yeah, hold strong. Can't even move you. Yeah, you're weak as can be before. So it diverts it. And there's something, it's just not. It's like pointing a gun right at someone. That's how, they're one direction waveforms. Yeah. When we can disperse them, especially a healthy, young, hydrated person, you're gonna be so much more resilient against it just in your environment. Mm -hmm. But when anything's a weapon to anyone, you know, it, it, your body's like, nah, I don't really want that. Yeah. We can disperse it, it's not as bad. So then the next game would be is to create you know, like five of these on the floor would create a coherence in your space. So let's see, we have three. Let's see 
if that works. So I'm going to do it with this wall. So go ahead and two fingers touch this wall. Hold strong. And you go weak. Now let's see if three backs do it for this face. So we're going to just put three together. And that made a shift. I felt it. Hold strong. Hold strong one more time. Better. Yeah. Not as strong, but better. Mm -hmm. One or two more would be even better. Huh. So you can create a coherence in your environment with more bags compiled together. The biggest stressor I see is that. Now, even though you have Sonos, you have speakers out there, if you really want the resonance low and slow, everything's hardwired and then on Wi-Fi, on airplane mode, Wi-Fi off at night, yeah. and it would be amazing. So you can get outlet timers and all the devices can turn off at night. And so since you, know, you guys are living here, why not make it a, as close to the resonance outside of nature as you can at night? Or just unplug these or have those go on a timer so when you listen to music, they're, they're, they're on, but then when you're not, they're just off. Yeah. So that's, the, that's what I'm seeing with, with just creating more of a healthier environment. So get this, the computer, you know, like all the chargings, get them a little further away from you. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, again, you're such a treehouse nature, it's so sunny and beautiful. Let's get the one directional electricity stuff out of your space where you're healing and, and when you're sleeping. Yep. And you have a work, you know, live environment right now, but when it's time to sleep, let's see how much we can separate that. And that'll keep you guys younger and more vitality and healthier. Workstation. Let's test, let's test it. <laughs> so come on back. There we go. And hold. Here, come on out. Come on, let's just get yeah, right there. It's fine. Two fingers touching it and hold. And so just one grounding bag. Obviously, he went weak when we did that. Let's put one grounding bag on his desk. And then we're going to go ahead and test again and hold. And we might need one more. We're going to need more bags, man. <laughs> How are we going to get these down here? And hold. And that's better. Yeah. So because he has three screens and then his cell phone, it's a lot right there. So uh, two bags on his desk. Normally, it's one bag will clear it. But if there is more stressors, then he takes more. Now let me check you. So what we're gonna do, let's face the camera here. So we're gonna see how Jason, this whole for me, good. Cover your eyes, hold strong. Cover your teeth for me, hold strong. Teeth are off. Cover your thymus, hold strong. And below, hold strong, no, right here, your upper chest, okay. hold strong. And below your belly button, hold strong. So, even though just being standing in the center of his room didn't affect him, your teeth and your electrical system are a little off from EMF. Mm -hmm. That's probably because you were just yesterday inundated with yeah. it, like in the trenches, just not lifting your head up. So what this is going to do is what, what's going to help you integrate is to recharge those areas. So those are like an athlete's weak links. They sprain their ankle, their wrist. The eyes, teeth, thymus, and intestines are the four weak links for the body, for EMF. So what we're going to do is a self-home care protocol where you can do several things. You're going to recharge those areas. You're going to clear your biofield of any stuck EMF. And so it's a self-home care protocol. And then you're going to 10x your energy. Because once you clear and recharge, someone can up to 10x literally their energy. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and you're going to hold the bag just standing and tap, or you can, you can stab it, but you tap on it and cover your thymus first. Because this is the electrical system for the body. So if this thymus is decharged, then 
compare your move enough, then his energy's off. So if you didn't wake up on your mark this morning, you're kind of like, uh, like where you get this afternoon fatigue, like that's your thymus right there. So we got to get that sucker going and get the polarity back there and breathe and ground. And you're a strong tree with deep roots. The more the wind blows, the deeper the roots get, the more the wind blows, the more you ebb and flow, and the more grounded and connected you are. So just have that intent and breathe. Good. So he'll clear pretty quick. So it's like kind of like burping a baby, tap a little harder, and just have that energy directed to that thymus. You can place the bag over the areas, it, you know. It, if you have a contusion for an athlete, you can ace bandage it over it. Okay, so now let's direct it to the teeth because there's something off with the teeth. The teeth will fracture, though, small cracks and fractures. They lose their polarity. So move an energy here as well. Good. Awesome. And just made it, hold, and cover teeth, hold, and upper chest, hold, and he's back on. Yeah, so you just flushed. I can feel that. <laughs> what do you feel? I'm more grounded. Okay. Yeah, I'm more connected here to the okay. center. Awesome. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're getting the coherence between us and our environment through nature's resonance. And when we do that, our circulation flows, our fascia gets destructured from the gigahertz at 2.45 billion waves per second. That's the minimal cell strength where water's destructured. So if we compound every device on wireless, you know, so you times two, three, four, five, however many you have in your environment, that's just adding to the dehydration. So it's really important to stay grounded, and we went grounding this morning, but locally recharging those areas, it, it, it helps it even more. Yeah. And so the combination of night nature, getting outside of, you know, as much as you can, taking in the residence, you have really natural light in here. So the light's not, the circadian rhythm's not as much of a challenge especially in this you know, work-live space, which is what so many people do now. So the only other thing I would just uh, invite you to create more of a, a space between the sleeping space and the workspace. And when, the, when you guys can do that, you'll start to see this space rejuvenate you so much more. And then that'll give you more uh, focus and concentration and energy, excitement in that space. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. That's awesome.